Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I wanna talk about my favorite snack at the end of the day. It is protein cookie dough. Ooh, look at how delicious that looks. <laughs> Actually, it just looks like a pile of brown stuff. Pile of brown stuff. But what this is, is it is packed with protein and really, really healthy stuff for you, and this bad boy right here, I do, do you like my bowl, by the way? My toucan sample. <laughs> so cool. Um, this bad boy is packed with protein that is going to build muscle and burn more fat for you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Fantastic. And I wrote down just the quick recipe here when you can use it because this is a super easy, simple thing to do to boost your protein at the end of the day. Am I gonna eat this whole thing? Heck yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks really messy. It's kind of hard to see. There's, it looks like a lot. It's really not that much because <laughs> I made it kind of messy. Um, that's my MO, make things a little messy. Yes, mm -hmm. so good. So this is one of the tricks that I introduce to women. Um, you know, a lot when they're looking at building more muscle, really getting to a fat burning zone and getting their body a lot healthier and stronger. Oftentimes, if you've been stuck at a plateau, it's really simple to move from that place by just adding more protein. And this is one of my favorite ways to do it. It's super easy to add in. You don't have to cook different. You don't have to worry about anything different for your family. If you've got, you know, family, right? I have three kids and a husband. And so, you know, making meals, prepping meals, we kind of do, you know, repeat similar things a lot, right? So it can be more difficult to plan ahead and be like, oh shoot, I was gonna get more protein with dinner, but I only made, you know, this many chicken breasts. Crap, how do I, ooh, where do I fit that in? Boom, add this in here. Oh, by the, uh, by the way, in case you're wondering, I, I did try and cut off my thumb today. <laughs> Shoot, let me just, yeah. So I tried to cut off my thumb a little bit today too. I nipped the end of my thumb off while I was making dinner. I know, right? And yes, this is the, I also dislocated this finger. Look, it's so much better. I know, I am a mess right now. Yep. Did I hurt here? <laughs> I didn't hurt it. I was making dinner, I was cutting sweet potatoes and I got really excited about it, clearly. And I just, I, I cut off the very tip of my thumb. So I couldn't even tape it. My husband had to tape it for me. So I stopped bleeding all over. Anyway, um, it's the latest injury I've given myself today. Um, but this is a really great thing to add in. Now this is something I actually help women with also in my 12 week program. So adding this in at certain points of the month can be really, really beneficial for your system to rebuild faster. A lot of women will deplete their bodies not knowing that your body needs more nutrient, more nutrient certain times of the month, specifically days 15 through 28 of your cycle. And these are things I go into in the 12 week program. So I'm gonna put a link below this video. So if you have questions about, oh my gosh, is that me? Or shoot, when do I, ugh, this sounds like something I wanna do. When is the best time to do this? Wait, I'm here now. How do I, what? Schedule a call with me. We can go over any questions you have and go over things in detail to make sure you are getting all the perfect information to get started on the right foot. Because something like this is easy and simple to do and it's delicious. But again, you wanna make sure that you're implementing it correctly to really see the full benefit. If you are just kind of, you know, sort of doing things, you know, okay, yeah, you might see a, um, something change, but to really see like the full, yes, this is amazing. Um, it really does matter where you're putting this in. Now, I do have my book, The Female Fat Solution, which is on Amazon. Um, I do talk about nutrition for the female cycle and hormones and everything else. So uh, there's a ton of info in here. You can pick that up. I have my podcast, The Female Health Solution, where I interview people. Um, some of them are health experts. Some of them just talk about their story and how they have noticed a change in their health with changing their nutrition because it's really that important. Um, so you can check that out on all places you can listen to podcasts. And again, I'll put that link below because a lot of women are hesitant to schedule. Honestly, no question is too silly or too dumb. You know, women are not prepared properly, I believe, to really get and keep the right results. That's why I created a 12-week program for women. That's why I go through and do all this information for women because I believe women deserve better. So this is one of my favorite things. Protein cookie dough. So it, all it is is chocolate protein powder. Um, I used um, I used a dairy free, right? There's a pea and rice protein blend. That's really important that you're getting that spectrum of amino acids there. So that's essential. Um, I use a full serving of it. 
So I am getting about 25 grams of protein with just the protein powder. I use a couple of tablespoons of almond butter. I go to Costco, I love Costco. I'm not sponsored by Costco, but I love Costco. <laughs> they have big jars of almond butter and I use like two to three tablespoons of that. I don't measure, right? I just kind of slop it in there. I do heat it up a little bit just to make it a little gooier so that when I mix everything and it's a little bit easier. And so I, I heat that up in the bowl, I add in the protein and then I splash in, I like pea protein milk. Um, Ripple is a bland, is a bland, is a brand that I like. Um, Ripple is a brand, Bolt House Farms is another brand that I like. Uh, it, it's just super high in protein. Almond milk is fine, cashew milk, all these other things. Uh, please stay away from soy milk. Um, but any other plant-based milk, or again, you can use a whey protein and you can use regular milk too, that's just fine. Or you can even use water, right? I really love the flavor of the pea protein milk mixed in with my cookie dough. It makes it so good, <laughs> it makes it so good. So what I'm looking for here though is really a higher amount of protein. Um, we're getting, I'm getting a ton of protein here. So with this and then the almond butter, that's at least eight grams of protein and then, you know, there's, it's not a full glass, right? But a couple, at least two, three grams there, so it's rounding it up. So I'm getting at least 35 grams of protein right here at the end of the day. Now, are you gonna need 35 grams of protein? Maybe, maybe not, just depending on what you've gotten to in terms of protein already that day, depending on what your goals are, uh, and you know what you're doing to refuel your body. So I just got back from football training. I'm a little sweaty, mm-hmm, yes. Yeah. So I am refueling my body right now and, uh, you know, from my workout and I'm prepping my body for sleep. So that tandem and I'm getting to my protein numbers for the day. That is why I am really focused on that amount for me. Um, again, you, you know, may not need as much protein, but at least getting 20 grams. That's the threshold. Let me write that down. The threshold that you'll, you're going to need to get to is 20 grams of protein. That is key to making sure you are getting enough for your body, your system, to really build lean muscle and burn more fat. So, um, you can have this post-workout. This is great to have post-workout, you know, working out in the morning, you know, anything like that. Some people don't like to have just shakes. Uh, I don't, I don't, I wanna chew my food. Protein cookie dough, chew your food, it's great. Um, or even 30 to 60 minutes before bed. The secret here with how this helps build more muscle and burn more fat is it actually helps your body build more lean muscle while you're sleeping. Then the next day, you can get to a fat burning zone more frequently throughout the day. It's just that simple. The female body works very differently in that we don't get to and stay in a fat burning zone all day long because our bodies are designed to store fat. So we really have to use different tactics to kind of try and tap into that periodically throughout the day. This is a tactic that you can use the night before to do that the next day. It's amazing. So these are all things that I go over with women in detail in the 12-week program. This is really just a tiny little snippet of information of what you would learn in this program. So again, if you have questions on this, if you're wondering if this is gonna work for you, if you're wondering, hey, how long do I do this for? Is this every day? Is this once a week? That type of a thing, please just you know, click the link that I'm gonna put below this video. I'm more than happy to answer your questions and help guide you in the right direction so you get the best results as quickly as possible. All right, that's what I got for you guys today. Um, please share this video if you found something useful in it. My mission is to educate women so you have all the tools you need to get to your best, healthiest self. All right, I will see you later.